Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap uh, Pro Trader webinar here for today with J Trader, Stocks Trader. Uh, if you guys have a subscription to uh, the Bookmap Global Plus version, uh, then uh, you are very familiar with J Trader. He, every Wednesday, he comes on and goes through uh, live analysis and trading. Uh, so. Uh, He'll be doing the pro trader webinar today, and then also tomorrow we have Scott Pulsini, a futures trader. He'll be doing that as well. But both of them uh, present every week here during the Bookmap um, advanced webinars. Uh, so if you're interested in that, it comes with the Bookmap Global Plus subscription. Uh, and let me just uh, speak a little bit about the education. So uh, what you get uh, when you subscribe to Bookmap Global Plus. You get access to the educational course that's online, and then we have every day an advanced webinar. Uh, so uh, three days a week we go through forward-looking analysis. It's not hindsight. Uh, so that you can apply what you've learned from that course and read the order flow uh, in real time in the market. Uh, and then we have two days a week we have uh, live trading. Uh, from specific traders, J Trader and Scott Pulsini, uh, and you can learn from their setups, their way of reading the order flow and applying um, uh, their strategies and their trade management. Uh, so uh, it's a very complete education, uh, and uh, you'll get a taste of it today if you haven't seen uh, uh, Joseph uh, trade before uh, or Scott uh, for tomorrow. Uh, anyway, uh, yep. Uh, if you don't know Jay Trader, uh, he's been uh, training for quite a while, uh, uh, since the young age of uh, 18, and many of the um, uh, warrants, covered warrants uh, in in uh, in Europe, uh, he was trading quite a bit of size, the uh, uh, 30 to 40 million um, uh, euros uh, in traded volume each month, um, and uh, you know he's mainly looking at the tape. Uh, he focuses on the order flow and scalping. Uh, now he's looking uh, primarily at uh, U.S. equities and options. Uh, both large cap and small caps, uh, and uh, he has his uh, small cap trader room. Uh, I'm going to input the uh, information here. If you want to reach out to him, he does offer mentoring services. Okay, so you can reach out to him. Uh, here's his contact information here. Uh, however, I'm going to put this into the chat and go to webinar. I have a, a few other uh, like his, uh, a special offer from him, etc., uh, that you can get uh, from the uh, uh, links I just put into the chat there and go to webinar. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, uh, Alan and Boris. Uh, uh, Boris, you have no sound. All right, so uh, I think uh, log out and back in. Okay. All right, so let's go through through some disclosures now. Uh, 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 Joseph, he'll be in soon. Uh, he usually comes in um, a little bit later. Uh, since he's uh, wrapping up his trading room right now uh, over in San Marino. Uh, so general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. So just a word on this. This is not a trade copier room whatsoever. It's like I was um, describing earlier. This is for uh, understanding how to apply uh, different strategies uh, from, from a professional uh, with the way that they're looking at order flow. So it's really a, a, a part of the robust education that you're getting with Bookmap. Uh, and then something here on that la last sentence, live trading executed in simulation uh, and not being realistic. So uh, our simulator is pretty good. Uh, it will put you in the queue. Uh, there's uh, uh, other um, uh, trades in front of you that will need to execute first. Uh, so you will get slippage uh, even in simulation here. However, as you guys know, it just one share or a hundred shares uh, can make a difference. So uh, it's it best to um, uh, understand uh, uh, the realistic trading environment uh, compared to SIM. All right, risk disclosures. Uh, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. 
Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. The hypothetical performance disclosure here is more for automated trading, so we'll, you can read that if you like. Uh, we'll skip over it for now. Uh, all right, so as we're waiting here for Joseph, uh, let's take a look at the um, uh, futures market. We'll look at the uh, S&P E-mini here uh, and just uh, go through some of the uh, order flow. Uh, and uh, uh, while uh, we're waiting here, he'll be he'll be in in probably about uh, uh, five or seven minutes or so. Uh, so anyway, we can take a look at this S and P. Uh, you can see some um, sideways consolidation here. Right at 9:30, we get the drop. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, we, we had um, uh, retail sales uh, this morning, as well as uh, we're going to have. Um, FOMC and it's a big one uh, with the dots and the projections and all that uh, later this afternoon so not looking for too much here uh, out of the market but uh, you can see that uh, you know we have a, a an initial move here to the downside uh, and through uh, or back down into uh, getting kind of close down into this uh, kind of 4600 down here uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we were looking at yesterday. A nice move into that yesterday, uh, in fact, during the, the webinar. So let's see if we can kind of come down there and revisit again. But you can see that uh, uh, the initial move down here, uh, some buyers starting to come in. So not really seeing too much at the moment here. Uh, lack of buying here at, at this very minute here. So if we can get a little more selling here, we should get the bump down to about this 4610 here. Uh, just um, not seeing the buyers at the moment. Now, if they come streaming in and they come back up here around this 4615, I think we've got pretty good chance for a move back up into uh, not only 18, but I think 20 here. Okay, and I like that move up into into this 20 area because that's where you see this liquidity previously, and you see these transactions previously. It this liquidity traded here. Okay, so there's actually liquidity in front of it that was pulled, but uh, uh, you can see this liquidity was traded here. All right, so uh, anyway, this is a, a pretty important area here, this uh, 20 level, uh, and a very, very quick move down uh, on, on high volume here. But as you guys know, uh, when you get these quick moves like this, uh, these um, uh, Im impulsive moves here like this, uh, they are uh, low volume nodes, as you can see. So, uh, you know, we're looking for maybe a retest back up into these areas and uh, a potential rejection. Uh, out of that area, we, we'll see. Uh, we might get more buyers up in this area here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be reading it down in this area here all the way along and uh, start to understand, okay? So yeah, still not really seeing much here. Uh, there's exhaustion here, a lack of, of buying, another lack of buying, but we're looking for sellers down here and I don't see them either, right? Not yet, at least. So uh, if we can come down here and we get a bit more selling, we should get the move into this uh, for, uh, 4610. Okay, but uh, yeah, just not not seeing those those sellers at all right now, nor are we getting our buyers up here. So uh, not really too much to look at at the moment. All right, let's see. Um, okay, uh, just a sound check here. Can everyone hear me? Um, this looks like a few guys are having some issues. If you can, just type, type yes in the questions. Yeah, okay. Very weak. All right, well, let's see. Should be pretty high, loud and clear. Okay, all right, yep, thanks Chris, thanks Sam, Mark. All right, all right guys, uh, yeah, I wish I had more to show you here at the moment, not not much, not much. Uh, still, these two scenarios uh, are is what we're looking for. Uh, you know, if we get our buyers up here, uh, you know, I think we've got a good potential. They were buying here previously, right? Here and here, a little bit over here as well. But you can see they just kind of faded away. So, um, uh, you know, and we just don't see much going on right now uh, in, in either way here. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for maybe a range bound opportunity, great. Uh, but uh, uh, here come here come some sellers. Now, this is, we, we have broken this area here, but I still don't see the sellers, All right? So again, I, you know, we're looking for uh, clarity uh, in this order flow. And this is not really that clear uh, right now. So 
if there's not a whole lot of sellers trying to move it away from this value area or this most traded uh, level here, okay, they're going to have to do it with size. Uh, and that's what we're looking for. Uh, you know, some big, big red dots here uh, to pull that market into areas of high liquidity down in some of these lower areas here. And right now we're just not getting that, right? So uh, best to stay away. In fact, we have the potential now for a move right back to point or, you know, this this uh, kind of uh, liquidity here. It's kind of point of control. Uh, also, the other side of the range uh, right now. So this is a this is a false breakdown here. Uh, and let's see if these uh, these buyers can lift it to the other side of the range here uh, and get into and maybe through uh, this 15 level up here. So uh, this is pretty typical in order flow when we don't have decisiveness. Uh, you'll see that kind of bang around each each uh, side here. So that's that's the scenario that's playing out. Okay, and let's see if they, if we can get even more buyers though up here. And I, I don't see them yet, but uh, we have more than we than we had sellers down here. Okay, and if we do, then we can we can get a, a, a move higher here into 18 liquidity or 20 liquidity up here. Okay, so and I know I'm kind of going through a lot here, uh, but uh, this was a false breakdown here. Okay, we we weren't we're, we weren't buying it or looking for it here uh, uh, to continue. Uh, once we see these buyers come back in, then this is um, uh, you know we're, we're looking at uh, responsive uh, responsive buyers to 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 bring it back into uh, the most traded level here. You know you can look at your profiles. Uh, it's just a pretty pretty simple um, stuff here that we're talking about. Uh, you look at these areas of consolidation. Okay, in this case, we've got a nice one here. Okay, and then we look at these areas uh, in uh, our, our profiles uh, to, to give just an idea of where uh, the most traded levels are. There's there's actually kind of two in here, right? One here and one here. Now, if we're not going to get the, um, uh, uh, the sellers in here and we start to get buyers on the other side, be looking for it to trade back into the middle or the other side of the range. And then we're looking to see if we can get some continuation and you guys can see that we haven't, we're right back in the middle of the range. All right, so uh, let's see here, uh, Boris, you're still having issues here. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, uh, we've done a sound check uh, and everyone can hear. Uh, Joseph is in here, good morning. Uh, so let me uh, turn it over to Joseph and let's get him up and running here and let's take a look at some stocks. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? Thank you. Very good, buddy. I had my dose of coffee this morning. How are you? Okay, so I'm not getting a uh, very good sound from you. Uh, like a bad, okay. bad connection here. Okay, one second. Okay, fixed now. You should be hearing me. Uh, you should no. be hearing me good. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. You guys are hearing him fine. I am not. Interesting. Wow. Can you hear me fine, traders? Maybe I should log out and log back in. Um. Okay. All right, Joseph. Well, every, everyone else is saying that uh, everything is good here. So uh, uh, why don't you uh, why don't you continue and. Uh, uh, well, uh, I may have to log out and log back in, but uh, you, you've got uh, you've got controls here. Okay, okay, Bruce. But uh, for what I can tell you, Bruce, I hear you very good over here. Okay, good morning, traders. Uh, so uh, glad to be here today. Uh, this morning, uh, I had a plan uh, on uh, these stocks over here. So I'm going to explain how to make a pre-market plan. So first of all, every morning we are in. Uh, in live stream on uh, on YouTube for free for the first uh, 60 minutes before the open. And uh, I was looking for, we're gonna cover the big caps today. I was, lo I was looking for Tesla. And uh, Tesla is one of those stocks that I always have uh, in my watch list uh, because we have a high volatility, we have a high liquidity, 
Uh, I like to trade this with options as well. And uh, I generally buy two thirds of the stock and one third of options. So Tesla, I, I wrote over here, short term bearish, uh, waiting for a 930 breakdown. So I'm waiting for actually this uh, low over here, this 930, 929 breakdown. And um, it's about some days I'm telling that I'm looking for an 800 uh, swing target, okay? 800 swing target because we have over here a main level of support and because my trading system is telling me this is the possible layer for them why we are in a, a short term bearish so until we don't reclaim 1000 i'm looking for that short area where i'm looking to take the position or near the j line okay so this uh, band that you can see over here or if we break the 921 929 sorry and trading pops okay when i say trading pops means i'm looking to short pops this morning i was looking at the price section on uh, tesla and i'm going to bring up over here a book map okay so we can see over here only the indicator uh heat map all right so only the the levels as i want to focus more on support demand supply demand and support resistance and i want to focus over here more on the price section okay if you don't have over here nbbo you can simply uh use for example uh the last price or didn't ask at this point this morning we went all the way up to 970 so start looking at this pop right so this is the level where we have the first rejection a second rejection a third rejection and today we have the rejection over here so means that at this 970 which is also this previous low remember over here right we have a huge amount of sellers so each time we push we have sellers jumping in and we can see these sellers jumping in because once we form the first resistance 970 we start having more 968 and then even more 965 okay so we have a progression of sellers like in a stair step down pattern now we're still far from this 929 right but we are going right on the day we open over here we're getting below this 948 which was the low of the day so i'm looking for a trend break over here and i'm looking for an unwind to this 929 if we're going to remain below 970 and subsequently i want to look for that 850 and then 800 right so this is my plan for Tesla how to buy uh put contracts over here so personally I, I explain right now what I'm doing as I always say this is my personal trading so be aware of the risk that we have with uh, with trading and especially when you trade options options are a very uh volatile and I would say a pretty high risk product but I also offer you a huge amount of return uh, with, uh, uh, with I would say, the correct setups. So if I'm looking for a trend line break over here, and then I'm looking for this 929, I will stay out in the money to buy options. Right? I will stay with around 925 and 920. What I'm looking is to sell then those 920 or 925 at plus 100%. And if the trend is coming, so we have the confirmation of this swing, I will, I would say buy more. And I will use uh, a concept that I basically is by reselling the stock that I bought at the same price over here. And I will use that cash to buy options monthly. All right, so it's like I'm reinvesting, risking zero, okay? uh after i sold my stock so basically this is the process right in i would say over here like in a general way of uh how i look to buy options tesla is one of those products that uh reacts very good also with uh, bookmap so when i see a level and or i would say a series of level on bookmap uh they tend to be pretty reliable so I like how really moves Tesla with Bookmap. Uh, you have to know that not all the stocks out there will have the same kind of, I would say, uh, sentiment, the same kind of, uh, uh, 
friendly approach that you can have uh, with uh, with Bookmap on other stocks. So, for example, Tesla, Apple, BA, they work extremely good. As I found those level of resistance support reacting uh, good with the Zealands as well. The second one this morning was uh, BA, and then we had also Pitten. So on BA, we were looking for uh, 190 puts. And uh, over here, you can see BA, short term bearish, below 195 shorting pops to J lines. 90 May, want to see a crack of support and confirmation of breakdown, puts 190 TP, 191 and 80, and then 187. So 190, uh, 180, uh, because we had a previous main level of support, right? And now I'm looking for this 187. So this previous low down here, 187.50s. The uh, pattern we cover at the open, explaining the setup, but basically the same as BA. So look over here. This is we can eliminate for now the volume dots. I want really that you focus today on the supply and demand. So we look at the resistance and support. As I want you focus really on the price section itself. The stock is going down, is bearish into the long term, is bearish in the medium term, is bearish in the short term. I explain over here uh, two days ago and I called over here the short on this day uh, with uh, saying buying puts 195 and now we went from 202 down to 190 okay so we have a huge amount over here of on why breakdown level curl down first day and you can go rewatch the streaming how we traded this Today, I'm looking for the break on the support, the open. Again, I called in stream and I was looking for this BA for unwind. And then over here, beautiful unwind all morning. So one point, okay. So this is the open. You can see how we fade over here from the 195 area. Right away, we failed the open. So brutal sell-off in the first minute, okay? Brutal sell-off. And when the first minute goes down, almost two bucks. And then we start having all these pops. So you can see small pop over here, small pop over here, small pop over here, small pop over here. All these are lower highs. Okay, and until we really break this uh, this 191 and 30, 199 and 191 and 20, and we have a first support over here. This is still a beautiful short. Is this bar over here? Okay, so what you see on book map is this bar over here. Bounce over here, starting to push. We have two. Uh, one higher low and one higher high, then we form a, a third higher high, and then we start again to dump over here. The main support is this 190. So I'm looking today to uh, get trades on BA more. This morning, uh, my bear over here next to me was trading BA and increasing the position on those puts because our last target is 187. If we break this 187, then look over here on the hourly. Actually, we can go even on the daily. We're looking for the main target down here at 140, okay? So this would be a very good swing opportunity for the next month. We have to look traders for the break on this uh, support at 188, okay? Now let's look at intraday. If we're gonna have patterns, So in order to trade this, 
I want to see a bear flag. I want to see a push into this area, a push into this area, and a push into this area over here. Okay. So this is what I'm looking traders on uh, BA over here. <clears throat> I want to see some liquidity. So I want to see a big heat map above and then looking too short. The main short, we already had it in this area. So that's the main level too short. And this morning, that's the call that we had in the room. And the same thing for Pitten. So let's look also some movers and XTD. We had this morning GMTX fading. This is a small cap. So on GMTX, we had two setups short with this JLAN rejection, second short JLAN rejection. And each time we had some pretty good resistance to short into. So these are good levels over here. Okay, let's see ABCT traders, ABCT. So in this case, we have a small cap. This is a, a bounce play because as you can see, this stock, we're talking about small cap, okay? So uh, a small float, small market cap. We had the first trend line break after a three-way pattern, fail over here, curling, volume again. So possible resistance and target 180 right now. Let's see if we can have some dip buy. I will be trading this. Uh, with the account over here on Bookman, but also live with my account. If I'm going to have that setup, okay. So let's look together. If we can spot some nice trade. So 155 breakout curly, look that volume is coming over here. So if we retest trader this 150, we dip that I'm looking too long. Okay. So I want to see dip over here to 150 and then pushing. Some good amount of volume, some good amount of buyers. We have almost 29 million volume traded. Yeah, just uh, 
uh, a note, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry. I this uh, I had issues as well uh, with the GoTo webinar uh, and sound right now. Uh, some of you have sound, some of you don't. Um, I know you can't hear me, but log out and log back in if something happens. Uh, I think that's the best way. It looks like they're having some issues. Uh, so uh, uh, that's confirmed by uh, another colleague here. Uh, so uh, I can yeah. hear you, Bruce, right now. Okay, great, great. Yeah, I mean, uh, you may have this uh, happen to you as well, uh, Joseph, but uh, uh, if so, then uh, uh, okay. yeah, you'll have to log out and log back in as well. Okay, okay. So traders, you can see over here, ABCT. As we said, we have a small cap. And let's look together. If we will have a setup on Apple, Tesla, BA, Pitten, Zoom, I will explain as those are the main ones for me today. So ABCT, as we see over here, we have 108 million market cap, so a very small market cap. And today, today we traded 38, 30 million uh, of volume, so 50% uh, above its float. Uh, so flow rotation in half, institutional ownership 30%, SSR yes. So this means we cannot uh, short on the bid. They cannot. We have basically to short on the ask. So this prevents for use panic selling. And uh, financial, this company is not really doing good. We have 4.2 million cash left for the quarter. And we have a burning per of 2.4 million, all right? So it's a used burning cash versus the cash they have. A negative net income of minus 37 million. So you can tell me, Jay, how they survive, basically through dilution. We had five gaps. And the filter I use are 20% gap with at least 5 million. So I don't really care to see all the gaps out there that happen, but only the gaps that have at least uh, an extension of 20% and a volume on a day of at least 5 million. Because if, if we have a gap of 50%, 100%, but there is no volume, no liquidity, we cannot keep that into account. At the same time, I'm checking for dilution because a company like this, as we see, cannot survive without dilution. And uh, we have still some uh, warrants at 11.50. We have uh, uh, some warrants at 1.50, 1.50. And we have over here some convertible, a juicy shelf, all right, of 2021, July. Uh, 65 million, so they can dilute traders. So the reason too, uh, the, the reason that we have behind ABCT being it's a company that's bleeding money, we want to see some kind of extension or pattern, ideally a rejection into this 180, 190, or short, or below the JLens, because it's a company that's bleeding money, has to raise money, and we need therefore a uh, offering. That's far from the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can see that we start forming a scenario of higher lows, higher highs. We're bouncing from this main support 157, which is this one over here of book map. Okay, so you can see. And we have the we have the main liquidity over here. For now, 161, they removed it. So we have some supply, 161, they removed it. We have a little bit more, 165, but not, not that much, and 170. 30,000 over here and 40 are nothing because basically every two or three seconds, they're trading two or 300K. So it's not that huge amount of volume. Uh, Bruce, I'm uh, talking with uh, some uh, some traders who have Bookmap, and they tell me the go to webinar page does not load; it crashes. Yeah, that I've uh, keep trying. Um, I've I've a few people have gotten back to me as well, um, but yeah. uh, they, they should be able to get in. It looks like David is talk 
saying that uh, maybe it might be uh, yeah another trader has asked me the website have any issue generating the email link on the live webinar sign up page I told them to try again right now because they wanted to join there's there's no other way um, okay go to webinars having some issues okay okay so sorry for this traders today uh, I'm gonna write it here yeah, it looks like uh, David's saying it's uh, you know Amazon Web Services and uh, world world worldwide issue at the moment. So uh, unfortunate. Okay, so for who is here, traders? Uh, I'm focusing, as I said, on ABCT. Uh, Tesla today, if we can break this uh, 930, 929, that uh, we're looking for that swing position. BA uh there's some there's something over here you have to understand so really how to take profit this morning as we said we had a big big fail off over here on this break of 195 okay and uh you can see that we made where highs where highs where highs and at a certain point we started making higher lows but it's not only that we had this first big heat map support that simply breached you see a breakdown over here and then we went to the second one and we never reclaim this level over here right we never reclaim the previous level of 191 we went down we broke over here the 1950 and the 190 we have the use amounts of support in book map on ba once we instead broke the 1950 we reclaimed what happened next we reclaimed even the previous support now resistance 191 so we have basically this unwind and then a certain point we started having a first type of reversal so if we will confirm the hold over here 191 now possible push until 191.80 192. let's look at this price action but here is interesting i'm zooming out you can see in order to spot also that huge amount of support at 190 so this level down here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Also, they're telling me, Bruce, over here that some traders are in, but the sound is breaking badly every 10 seconds, still crashing. Yeah. Go to webinars. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing we can do. Okay. Hopefully this will be recorded so members can look to uh, watch this in a second time. So what we have over here is the first uh, bear flag with uh, PA. So it's still 1030, so still a valid short to trade over here. The risk is 191 in 37. We had the breakdown, and you can see traders the first lower low breakdown of this 190 and 90. So trend line break. We are in a bearish mode, and we have to stay now below that 191 that we were just talking about. So this is the previous resistance. So we went above. We had a trend line break. Now we're looking for this to fail until that 190 main support. If you can feel that filled in uh, 190 support we go to 187 so we're looking at least for a 3r return in this case we have 190 and 70 and 191 and 30 so we're risking 60 65 cents 190 and 70 to 190 we have only 70 cents so that's one one but we're looking for that 187 okay so looking over here for that unwind and the reason to enter this is because i can tell you by stats that every single day trading stocks below the previous day range below the open level um so unwinding we have or jail rejection or these 90 may bear flags as i said the a plus setup on ba we added on the first breakdown over here so if traders are already in 194 195 on ba this is a spot where to recycle shares and then trailing the money
So breaking over here the 191 to the upside. And that's the importance uh, in trading of the risk management. So knowing what you're risking. And as we said, we're risking this level over here, 191 and 30, 191 and 35. So over here, we can write air flag in downtrend pattern, in downtrend. And for example, yes, the day traders, we had the same price action, and we had the same bear flag at this zone. Okay, this is a pretty good bear flag. And then we had an NY. Okay. So let's zoom out. One ninety one zero five. They're curling over here, so they're trying to break this previous high. We had the one ninety one and forties. That's the risk. That's the exit at 191 and 45. So that's a stop over here. This is a correct stop because we took first four points on the unwind over here. And then over here, this is a correct recycling. So reshorting over here the bear flag. In this case doesn't work. Boom out. And then we'll look for secondary setups. Secondary re entries always with the 90A if we can have this another bear flag formation. But that's a very good trade. Simply doesn't work. When it doesn't work, what do you do? You cut. So looking, using this strategy over here, this is what we made in the last three months. So these are the setup that we did the last three months. So we are having very low uh, and few red days. And this is really working with the 90 May. So working for these plus setups. Look over here, traders. So we had a rejection from this 191 and 50 right away pop. Okay, so over here they went really to uh, trap the bulls and also short sellers uh stopping out over here and now we're simply fading this strong so again we're looking for that unwind another trend line break so 90 may is curling down another bear flag over here on uh, uh ba first target we're gonna have possibly the 190, some support 190 and 50. So this is a second short over here. Remember that first short is always the best. So the pop and fill the gate, and then look to recycle while this is going down, okay? So you will lower your average, and then each time we're forming lower highs, you're gonna use that previous relative high, let's say lower high, lower high, lower high, each time we go down, we will use that previous relative high as our risk. So now we want to see a breakdown of 90.50. You can see before that we had a bear trap, then pushed over here with the bull flag. So a little bit of manipulation down here. Recognize these patterns, right? How to know when we have a bear flag, uh, bear trap, sorry. So over here we have a support. 
on purpose. They break the support right away. They reclaim it and then they push. So this is really where we have uh, long stopping out. Uh, possibly over here we have some big hand and don't worry on BA you will have more than one big uh, hand okay so one shark they are like collecting over here often they're they soak over here they absorb on the bid they absorb on the bid and then they start reclaiming that previous resistance and they start pushing to upside okay and sometimes that's uh, also for squeezing shorts out When we say uh, so, about, tell uh, me, buddy. Oh, just a just a moment here, and uh, no, really, really nice examples you're going through there, though. Um, I have a colleague here, um, Sam, is um, uh, setting up maybe a J Trader live streaming in our Discord since he has sound. So okay. uh, maybe uh, if you can tell people like uh, or you know other people that are on. Uh, if, if you're having kind of uh, sound issues, uh, maybe try that uh, and see if that's working. Uh, it's kind of a hack here. So uh, you go to the bookmap discord and you'll see the live streaming uh, J trader live there. Uh, it's Sam actually. Uh, and okay. You sh should be able to hear it. Okay. Let me see if I can find myself. Uh, bookmap. Uh, Okay, 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 got it. So, okay, book map. And he's got your screen and everything going, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, people are already, so, already in there, so. Okay, so traders, for who doesn't hear uh, Bruce over here, uh, go to bookmap discord room and look to click on the uh, live stream J Trader. All right. So you can get inside over here. Correct. Okay. Trader. So uh, BA, first of all, uh, some traders reaching out during the week uh, because I've been posting this uh, indicator over here that tells me strong bearish and these, uh, these bars is not something for sale. Okay. So it's just like something i'm uh, uh i'm using is to basically see the price when it shifts above or below the day lines and if you look at my hourly chart uh let's wait that toss uh updates all right so you can see that the price once it fails over here the day lines so it becomes all red so this for me means like looking too short and as we said, this is a swing position for me. I'm looking for BA once we fill this trend line. And this is the setup we called yesterday, sorry, two days ago, okay? We called this two days ago. You can go watch the streaming we made, and we said BA below 202, we're looking for this 187 target. That's the main target over here. Okay, traders, so right now, you can see that we start forming a lower low sorry, lower high, okay, high over here, lower high. Let's see if we can make another lower high over here and go to this previous support. Instead, it's bouncing over here, 90.80. We have a beautiful pattern over here, breakdown over here. So today, I'm looking for this kind of consolidation over here if we can remain this below this 192 i'm looking for that unwind okay so these are some of the best plays the ones that give me some very big return
The other pattern that we watched today, traders, was Tesla. So we're still waiting that Tesla unwinds. And again, swing position from this level over here. So we had this uh, trend line break the same day on BA. So when we started fading over here, this morning we had a big rejection of 970. Target right now is 930, below 930, 929. I want to see 900, then 850, then 800. Okay, so our bias is short over here on uh, Tesla. All right, so we're having right now a trend line break on Tesla. So let's focus on this pattern as well. Reason for us to look for another position short. Curling down, we need to see the breakdown of 943 and 40. So again, looking for the swing position over here for the unwind. And looking for this 930 down here, right? What I like about Tesla is that once we feel the supports, simply like over here, boom, it drops. Okay, it can drop like five, six point instantly. And uh, it works, as I said before, pretty good with bookmap. So the levels that often are the previous support, previous resistance, so the relative higher lows, and the uh, J lines work so good. So I'm looking for a stop into the 954, 953, looking for the first target down here, 929, and then looking for that 900. Let's go back to BA. So BA again to that support. So now they increase that support over here. You can see at 190 and 50. So more liquidity came right on BA. And again, what's these stocks with a swing idea? So don't focus only on the one minute chart. Because often if you look at too much of one minute chart, unless you're a scalper, it can really um, or say trap you. Okay, it can really like uh, uh, push you out from the trade. If you look at the main trend over here, if you look at the main environment, the scenario is definitely strong bearish. And we're looking for that pattern over here. If you break this 190 and 50, this can wash big. Okay, so let's look over here, 190 and 50. Let's focus on that. Okay, so we're looking at this level over here, 190.50. Okay, traders. Uh, five hourly chart. You can also use a 50 minute chart. If you're looking for those swings, if you're looking for those three or four uh, days of trend. So you can see over here, the first you sell off then another sell off at the gate over here we have a big flag formation so very good setup okay very good setup uh so for the trader to ask me about j lines over here on the i'm sorry traders j lines on the uh, five minute chart all right, so we have to change the J line in this case. If you go to the the 15 minutes, and then you can put over here 729, which is the really the main uh, levels. All right, otherwise you have to put over here uh, four, and in this case. See if we'll go. Yes, this over here. But again, we can use 15 minutes. We're gonna put 72.89 to see the overall trend. So this is for you swing, and you right away see 
that the price is going down so stopping over here really above each level that we have and then we can add a uh, 200 so when the price of j line so when the j line sorry are is below at the 200 so we have a bearish trend like in that case and instead when the price in this case is bearish right when the price like over here the j lines are above the 200 that we have a bullish trend and over here you can see all this is a bearish trend So this is using the 50 minutes, okay? Only to see the main patterns. So 950 over here, we have a possible breakdown coming. Nine fifty-three, sorry, ninety fifty-three, ninety fifty-two. We don't have uh, we only have eight thousand over here. That's not a huge liquidity. I mean, I saw times where uh, we had 200K on BA. So looking for the breakdown over here coming. 90.52 again. Now, see, they're bouncing over here at 60s. As I said today, I took off the dots, not because I didn't use them. I simply love to use the dots over here, especially... Um, uh, I like to use them in combination with the support resistance, as I can see the, the soak, as I can see the huge amount of absorption. But today, I really wanted to focus with two traders only the level support and resistances, okay? So only the heat maps levels over here. They're very attached to this support, so I believe we can have an imminent break over here, unless some crazy volume comes in and spikes. Yeah, I see sellers over here. I see sellers. We can put it also the times in sales. So let's put also the times in sales over here. And we're gonna filter that to at least three hundred. So I wanna see only a little bit of size in. I don't really care of 50, 20, 30 shares at the time. Okay, next bar of the 50 minutes over here. Now it's bouncing. So they're bouncing at 74. So you can see, just what we said, if we have a little bit of volume, they will push. So like bearish, the risk has to be 191 and 50. We're looking for, as I said, more swing position. Let's look also at ABCT. Tesla still down. We have to wait for that 930. GMTX fader today. GRTX fader today. Even it traded so much volume for being a small cap. Another one this morning that is fading is ZM. Another beautiful downtrending stock. Over here, you can see strong bearish. Another J line rejection over here yesterday, exactly at 2, 3 p.m. Sorry, 3.15 p.m. Perfect J line rejection. Trend line break this morning and unwind over here at ZM. We're going to get the 176. Next target, if we break the 176, 175, we're going to have 160s. So another ZM looking for a swing position. All of these are simply fading, okay? So BABA was another one. And BABA is simply like dying in the last two months, simply fading. Had some days of consolidation over here, like around one week. We break traders this... Uh, 188, 118, 117. Look again for unwind and bearish mode on Baba.
BAS bouncing. So let's continue to watch the price section. So they found that support, they're bouncing over here. But remember, when we have a descending triangle, when we have a bear flag, we can have some bounce over here. So still staying with the relative high. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So now we have a seller at 191 and 20, small seller, 5,000 over here on BA. Again, a leg down on a BA, so we have to wait. <clears throat> Below the 191. A little bit more resistance above in the 192 and one okay broke over here right now well, let's see how to react to the day lines that's the risk 191 and 50 Let's filter over here, traders. This at 999. Uh, let's put, for example, 2000. I want to see the blocks, not even 4000. Okay, so we have yeah, a little bit more seller than buyers. So this is the price action that we had in the last. Uh, uh, 10 less 45 50 minutes yeah they found for now some decent support at this 90 190 190.50 some decent support over here <clears throat> see GMTX.
So BA is still that 191. That is still forming lower highs. So go to here. As we said, we're looking for a Tesla this 930. Not too much on the big caps, not too much, sorry, on the small caps. So not really following those today. We have a daily rejection traders over here on BA. And now that's our risk. So that top of the daily lines. So wedge over here, look, this level, 191 and 50, 190 and 50. Okay, Tesla over here forming new lows. We like this 939. So you want to see this unwinding, unwinding, unwinding. So each bar is making lower high, lower low. So when a trend is going down like right now on Tesla, and for example, our average over here is 945. What we want to see is a continuation of lower highs, lower highs, 
lower highs, lower highs. So each relative high, we put a trailing, okay? I like to see this using movement, but I like to see also this using more than a one minute, a five minute chart, especially if I'm looking for a longer position. And I have to trace also support resistance of the previous days or even previous weeks or months. And over here, we have an important level, 930. Yeah, 929, 930. where we bounce already two times. So that is called catalyst. That is my target profit, my first level of target. Now that you are in the money, you're basically risking, for example, break even. So you're looking to have this level of resistance 945. And basically it's a risk-free. As I said, this is the first target. So only where we chip over here, for example, one third. And then we want to look for that break down to the 900 and lower okay and 39 not a big support until 9 30 as I imagine the previous low, the relative low is always the one with the biggest support. It's 9.30 over here. Let's go back to BA, which is still bouncing small over here. And on BA traders, again, we have that pattern. J lines over here, but above the 191, 191 and 50, reason to stop. So some support at 191. So for now, making ascending triangle on BA. Tesla sold at 939. So look at price section traders on BA. So we bounced two times from this zone over here, 190 and 50, right? First bounce over here, second bounce over here, which is the first bounce, second one. And now again, same resistance, 191 and 50, 191 and 50. And again, we're rejecting that area. Uh, we have definitely seems it's very uh, possible over here or a wedge or an ascending triangle it can be yeah either one okay we have an ascending over here trend line we have the same high almost or slightly downtrend and that is our wedge as of still at 9.39. So now we can put the first trailing at 9.42, but definitely this is still with the vision to see the 9.30 down here. ABCT continue to fail. Uh, GMXT, GMTX, sorry, continue to fail. GRTX continue to fail. Your TX is a day two. Exactly. So we can see this morning fail over here, the five minute Zaylands unwinding, some Zayland rejection right now. So good sell off. A 
And for who has a small account on Tesla, for example, I really uh, like to use and suggest to use, uh, being that you have a small cap, a small account, sorry, or even a bigger account, I really like to use uh, options in conjunction with uh, stock. Surely, if you have a small account, uh, look to trade options. Uh, study first, practice them, uh, trade on the line stock in paper. And uh, once ready, then you simply move to options. So instead of, for example, of shorting, you will buy puts. Uh, I made some uh, uh, in the J Trader room, I posted some uh, content on options, how to choose them, uh, the Greeks. So some good information on it. So no reason why we cannot see 930 over here. And then looking for that more and why. Uh, Joseph, can you give a little more information on the on the options? Um, are you what month? I mean, the current month is it the or current week or like um, how far are at the money? Do you go out of the money a little bit? Okay, so uh, there are so many spa aspects out there, so we would need really to to cover this in at least two hours. But I'm gonna give a few points for my personal uh, trading with options. So there are weekly or monthly options. When I'm looking to day trade, so when I'm looking to take a trade uh, for an hour or uh, let's say a couple of hours, I tend to look for the weekly options firing on Friday. As you know, if the price of the stock goes up, the option in terms of percentage goes uh, much higher. So let's say the stock can move 1%, the uh, option can move 30, 40, 50%. There are some consideration about volatility, uh, delta theta, and so on. But I wrote those on the manual, and I uploaded that uh, some weeks ago also in the, in the bookmap Discord room. Now, if instead the stock is being lateral, so you know that the stock, you're not going to lose anything. Maybe a few cents, you know, if this is just below your price. But the option will lose price, okay, will lose value because we have a time decay, especially if you trade out of the money options. There are two ways to trade, in the money or out of the money. If we have, if the price over here is 939, okay? And let's say we're buying calls and we're buying calls 945, that's called out of the money because basically expiration, you won't get anything. Instead, if the price is 939, you're buying 935, then you're trading in the money. In the money will give you less in terms of percentage gain, but they are like a little bit more safe. So they are more safe. Out of the money, we will have more in terms of return, but we have higher risk. Each day that we hold weekly options and they go towards Friday expiration, if the stock doesn't move or uh, slightly reverses, against our, uh, we say, uh, main uh, direction, then the value of the option will decrease. Uh, personally, I like to enter on an hourly time frame uh, if I swing. And in that case, I will look to join first uh, weekly options and then to buy monthly options in order to differentiate over here my, first of all, strikes and my expiration. I tend to uh, use only liquid options. So you'll never hear me buying options on, I don't know, on Bidu like so right now, like, uh, right now Bidu because Bidu because it's simply like uh, illiquid right now. If you trade options also, you need to know uh, all the variables, which are the Greeks. So the impact of this on the actual price and also to study the correlation between the price section of the option towards the underlying stock. It's not difficult because, for example, when I started trading back in the years, I was trading with a small account and I was trading cover warrants on the Italian market, buying, for example, Bruce knows, like you buy, we had Bank Intesa, San Paolo, Ini, Medio Bank, Medicet, New Credit, and so on. So these were stocks that used to move maybe like 2%, 3%, 5% maximum in a week, maximum, really the maximum. They are not like uh, volatile like in the noise. 
or in the Nasdaq. But uh, covert warrant were, were moving exact was moving exactly like options on uh, on the U.S. markets. Okay, so you could have like 20, 30, 50, even 100 percent of gain in a matter of hours. So that's the reason why traders look to uh, use options because you can simply have so much more return with a very small amount of capital invested. Uh, so you don't need really to use uh, half a million to buy over here at Tesla, but you can buy even with five, six, seven k, a decent amount of uh, of calls or or puts, and uh, to make a, a decent profit. Again, each day the premium will lose price. Okay, so if we go to buy option on Tesla Monday, it will be pretty expensive, and I would say I always um, avoid to buy them on the day one because they have also a wider spread uh when it's like tuesday wednesday or thursday even better uh the options weekly will definitely have so much return in terms of percentage of the stock moves gives a very big move uh and they will be cheaper okay question traders on the options uh no no questions okay Yeah, it's interesting also, Joseph, I like the way that uh, you, you've been playing around with a uh, lack of volume dots or volume dots on there uh, w w during the uh, um, weekly or, you know, the, the daily, I say, I should say, uh, webinars. We sometimes do this this um, uh, exercise. And so the context is just price action and liquidity and then get really good at reading liquidity because uh, we've been all looking at, you know, volume for for years uh and uh that extra context maybe is is kind of doesn't allow you to learn liquidity mm -hmm. as easily that's all exactly exactly so let's see over here traders bounce on tesla but as i said we still have this downtrend so that's a beautiful pattern over here. We started rejecting, rejecting, rejecting always this downtrend line. So we'll see now if we're going to reject again this 942, 943. Uh, the main support is over here, 930. And instead on BA, the BA is still bouncing from that support. It's still being on that, in that trading range. So over here we have as we said, something like a wedge or the ascending triangle, but right now it's just like a lateral consolidation with the top at 191 and 50, 190 and 50. This is a huge amount of support right now. Uh, in order to see how much support we have, simply go to the COB, right click, configure column, and put also extended plus aggregate, right? So you will see the amount of cumulative volume that we have at that uh, level. So from the 191 and 15 that we are right now to the 190, we have an amount of 105, let's say 110K of support. So that those are limit buyers, right? This is the demand traders, like 110. And instead from 190.60 to the 191 and 50, mm -mm, pardon, I didn't put it. I said, but I didn't put it uh, uh, over here. No, aggregate, sorry. There we are. But let me stretch a little bit because I cannot see it. All right. We have only 5,000 over here. So you can see the difference in terms of supply demand, right? So this is a very small supply. This is a huge amount of demand. This doesn't mean, oh, it will bounce. This will go like uh, 200. It will bounce so much. No, because if we start like, to chip the 190 and 50 and then we start seeing over here like uh, buyers getting panicked uh simply canceling their orders because these are all limited orders they're already placed over there uh some will be real some probably are just like staying there maybe for some covers if they're short because this was unwinding big some are dip buyers but again if we start like seeing this level chip i believe that the 190 over here will start to be less liquid 
patterns and we can unwind a little bit more for now again trading range so the best trade we had this morning was at this 195 pop and fill this is extremely extremely volatile this morning we had a simply a fast sell-off in the first really few minutes over here in the first two minutes came down two points the same as Pitton. these are really the best stocks for me to trade when we have that general scenario on the hourly on the five minutes that gave me so much opportunities as you can see over here on ba and this is really three days i'm saying this short 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 and uh it's paying big okay so this is paying big then you can look to recycle to take small trades over here with the 90 may with the day lines uh to recycle but remember always start to trade higher uh, at the J lines hourly, or when you have the first 30 to 40 minutes pop to the J lines and animate too short. Make sense, Bruce? Yes, sir. Okay, glad that finally I hear you good over here with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it happens, it happens, it happens. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, everybody. Um... There was just oh, it's not problem. It's not your fault, Bruce. It happens. Don't worry. Um, so again, you see, it's really, 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 it's really boring how BA is moving traders. It's really boring right now. But I believe that all this is necessary because we had a big wash this morning and they sold a ton over here, a ton of volume, really. And then it's being lateral over here. It's being lateral. It's still rejecting this one and they wanted 50 still holding this. We are in a lateral range, the last one hour lateral range over here. Okay. Let's check back at Tesla. Tesla again faded 940. So, Bruce, remember what we were seeing just a few seconds ago. We have this downtrend line. Now I made a line, this pop, and we said, let's see if we're going to reject this 942, 943. Rejecting again, looking for the main target to the 930. Okay, so Tesla behaving good. Uh, BA, we have still to see this breakdown over here. But again, beautiful scenario of the market. Both strong bearish stocks in the next days. I believe that we're going to have some very good results with these. All right, Bruce, uh, 1130. Uh, time for questions if we have them. No, traders, sorry, don't ask that. I'm already married. I can't. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, so, Bruce, any questions out there? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, earlier on, and, I, and I'm sorry for this, uh, we had some web troubles and I didn't get to the questions, but Chris, uh, Christian was asking uh, earlier um, about uh, AV. CT, uh, how did you know about the main resistance around 180 to 190? Okay, so let's look together ABCT. So ABCT is a stock that I've been following the last two weeks. Uh, it's what really we call pig, you know, a stock that simply uh, fills off. And uh, this was my level of support that we had these days, right? And over here we had dips into the 190 and two. Over here we had 210. So I was looking at this main level over here as a resistance. And this morning I was expecting to short. I'm not in this trade. I'm not shorting this over here. Uh, my morning finished at 1010 today. So uh, it came only to the 165. I didn't jump in short over here because they didn't reach my level of my plan. So this is what we call that cat bounce. When we have a first big extension, then two or actually three or four days later, generally, generally it's three or four days later, we have a bounce. And this bounce generally is between the 23 or 38% uh, of the FIB level, which is around this 182, two bucks, buddy. Okay, that fib level you take it from this high at 320 to this low over here of 090, and then you can put over here the 23, the 38, the 50, the 61.80, the 70s, and also the uh, 100%. Got it? Yep. Okay. Uh, another thing, 
I just want to check again this BA. We cannot really predict before that. We end over here again. It's still this trading range. It's just like simply so boring, but the trend is all down. We'll see if we're going to have that or uh, 936 uh, Tesla. So a nice juicy dip. Uh, we are going down, making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Simply love this kind of price action. And over here, traders, don't focus, on, I, as I say, only using a one-minute chart. Because on the one-minute chart, you only see, I would say, you zoom the last two hours, the last uh, maybe three or four hours. Stay with uh, a five or even a 15-minute chart to see the main general trend. And then if you are like me, that you like the hourly chart because you even want to open some swings, I mean, the hourly chart is a perfect scenario for that. All right, Bruce, anything to add more? No, sir. I think uh, we're all caught up. And uh, apologies again, like um, uh, that uh, this was uh, some, some issues with the sound. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'll, we'll have the recording up uh, in the in the um, ProTrader webinar uh, series uh, uh, playlist on our YouTube channel later. And hopefully uh, we'll go through it and hopefully that that turned out OK. All right, Bruce, again, thank you very much for today. Uh, glad to be part of this beautiful team. Uh, reach out traders to me or Bruce in case you have any kind of question. Uh, thank you again very much, Bookmap, and see you next Wednesday. Thank you very much.